Hello everyone, this is Randy here again, another episode of Farm Mechanic Simulator 2015. And we are on order number 50 here. Uh, the client is complaining about imprecise operation of the steering transmission. Find out the problem and perform any required repairs. Okay. That's an um, interesting way of putting it. What shall we look for? I guess it's probably something in here, I'm guessing. Like this doohickey? Steering transmission. Okay, that's good. Watch for an easy fix. Oh, that's bad. Double check everything in here, make sure this is all good before we go any further. Okay, well, let's start by taking that off here then. And I have done a couple of jobs since the last episode again. Did have one rather interesting job, and that was to replace the rear axle on a combine. Okay, let's uh, repair that. Let's see, we're getting 200. That might be the only thing wrong, then. Yeah, so far I've not really had any jobs where a massive amount of disassembly have been required. Well, I don't think there's really a whole lot of massive disassembly that can go on on this game, to be honest. It's not like Car Mechanic Simulator can rip the whole engine block out. Act when it comes to a whole lot of this stuff uh, down on, you know, down here. Transmission, engine block, etc. Nothing can be removed. So, okay. That job is repaired already. That was an easy one. And being job 50, let's see if we can upgrade to the next job, or next... Next place, possibly. Got a new shop. I think we got a new shop. Uh, check the elements of the threshing mechanism. The client is reporting that the problem is not... Uh, that the combine is not threshing the grain. Help them solve the problem. Yeah, so a new uh, shop. Let's see, repairs, parts, radio. Yeah, it's supposed to be like manuals or something where you can uh, upgrade. Let's, wait a minute. It's different. I don't remember seeing this before. Okay. Yeah, like I say, there's supposed to be like manuals or something where you can upgrade your abilities, but I'm not seeing that. Test drive. Arm fresh. Locally grown. Our balancer. Not sure what that doohickey's supposed to be. <laughs> that looks like a uh, combine engine all strewn apart there. Our oil can tank thing. That's weird. Okay, we'll sell that glow plug and these two things. I don't think we'll need those. Can't repair them, unfortunately. Okay, let's find out what's wrong with this combine then. Doesn't thresh, eh? Probably going to be a gear or belt or pulley somewhere that's... And there's definitely a lot of gears and pulleys, that's for sure. So let's go take a minute to check all this stuff.
Okay, nothing bad yet. About $520 for the job, so if it's one part, it's going to be a fairly important part. Just guessing it's going to be like a couple of multiple parts, maybe, but I'm not sure. I think that's everything on this. Oh, we got one belt here yet. Let's just make sure we check that to uh, make sure everything on this side's good. If we can get the belt, there we go. Okay, it's everything on this side. I don't think there's anything up front that would... Uh, there's, what, actuators down here we can get to? That's about it on the front. That shouldn't have anything to do with the ability to thresh. At least, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, come on, I cannot uh, check that. Oh, okay, I see why. I was... Yeah, even though I was, like, in here, it was actually on the other side, not this side. That's why. Oh, hey, there we go. Central tensioner of the thresher drum mechanism belt. Oh, try saying that a couple times fast. Oh, and a bad belt. Guess we should have started on this side first. Oh, and another bad one. Drum thresher wheel. Nice if one of these things is actually the part I have on hand that I'm hanging on to yet that I accidentally bought the wrong one of. Although if you look at the name, I got the right one. It just if you look at the picture, it's the wrong one. Yeah, it never occurred to me that they'd have two parts with the same uh, name. I haven't seen that yet in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator or the other mechanic simulators that they have. Okay, we'll just check this one last belt here. And we'll call that good. Let's, okay, pull off the stuff then. Oh, I gotta pull this belt off first. Okay. That's the central tensioner. Oh, where is it? Central te tensioner of the thresher drum mechanism belt. Sounds impressive. Oh, we can repair the belt too yet. Okay. Let's uh, repair that and that and that. That does not seem like enough stuff. The game ain't that generous with the money here. Okay, let's put that back on. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... I check this thing back here. Let's check this thing back here before I put that back on. Nope, that is good. Okay. Okay, does that fix it? It does. But it's not repaired. Okay, what did I forget? Oh, sorting mechanism drive belt. Uh, I better put that on. Farmer might just want that. Well, aside from the time it took us to find the problem, not uh, too hard of a problem to solve. Oh, another combine. An orange one this time. A uh, client is reporting seized hubs in the combine. Help him. Place the front hubs. Okay. Boy, that's a lot of nuts to take off. Ah, nuts. Actually, maybe I should check to make sure which one's actually bad here. Not sure if you can actually check them without... Uh, Oh, that one's bad. Good. Take that one off. 
And is this piece here good? I'm assuming it is, because if I remember correctly, I think the front axle, that one piece there is like crazy money. 2,500 bucks or something. Just one comment I like to make about the combine here. It's kind of cool all the detail they have in there. And as cool as what that is, they need to have the actual detail of all the stuff that these belts are actually running. That would actually make it a lot more cool in my opinion. Let's just see if we can check it here before we take it off. Yep, it's bad too. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's just my opinion with the combine. It'd be a lot more cool in my opinion if you can actually have more detail on the combine, more stuff you can fix and tear apart. Like actually all the internal workings of the combine. By the way, in real life, you'd probably not prefer to tighten the bolts in this pattern. Uh, typically, you go across all the time. So like if I tighten the bolt here, then you'd go to that one up there, and then back down, and you know, so on, so on and so forth. Okay, is that job done? It is. client is asking for damaged elements of the cabin to re be replaced. Okay, that's interesting. How do they get damaged, per se? Oh, well, it's not the steering wheel, obviously. Oh, maybe it's the steering wheel cap. Yeah, looks like a couple miscellaneous odds and ends. Okay, it's everything in the cabin. Start pulling this crap off then. See, 38%, I think that has to be repaired, if I recall correctly. One dollar. That's an expensive item there. Okay, that job's done already.
client is asking for the filter of the grain elevator motor to be replaced. Place the drive wheel, the grain elevator filter. That seems like two different things there, if you ask me, folks. Uh, it, up there it says replace the drive wheel. And order description says replace the filter. Uh, seems like two different things to me. Okay, let's see what's what we mean by drive wheel. Possibly this thing. Oh, wait a minute. Be on this side, probably. Talking about this stuff here. Place the drive wheel of the grain elevator filter. Oh, wait. Probably not even talking engine. Let's, uh... Close it, want to open it back up. Oh, let's see, sir. What or which one we are looking for? I'm thinking it's one of these drive wheels here, unless it's something actually on the engine, maybe. Check the other side. Grain elevator ventilator drive wheel. Grain elevator drive wheel. Let's check that one, maybe. Nope, oh, that's good. Okay. Hey, there's the bad one. Now, can I get this off? I can. Now, can I get the pulley off? No, I cannot. I don't see why I have to take this off to get that belt off, but hey, okay, whatever. Well, hey, at least I know where both the brain elevator drive wheels are now. So the question is, do I have the right one this time? Yeah, I do. Perfect. I finally get to use my used part that I bought. Uh, well, I guess that was last episode. Okay. Did I miss a belt or anything somewhere? Don't think so. I don't have anything in my inventory, so let's see if that fixed the problem. It did. Excellent. The 
client is asking for the hitch in the tractor to be replaced. $90. Hitch, huh? You got a hitch, that's your problem. Uh, let's see, I wonder what they consider a hitch here. Oh, just that thing? Okay. Elevator actuator. I can actually repair that for $229. I don't remember what we spent on that part again. I'd have to go look and see once. Okay, does that do it for the job? Oh, that was an easy one. Really easy. Client is reporting voltage drops in the electrical system. Identify the problem. Battery or the alternator? Yeah, battery's good. Alternator's good. Oh, yeah. How about the belt? Belt is good. Two. We do have the cables going to it, I guess. The client is reporting voltage drops in the electrical system. Um all the electrical stuff I can check. Start checking everything, I guess. Now we do have a starter, but that, yeah, other than maybe starting, that shouldn't cause any troubles. Had that electrically could cause problems on here. Uh, fuel pump. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, fuel pumps. They they call cause a lot of electrical problems. Okay, right. That seems fuel related to me, not electrical. Okay. Oh, it's repaired. Okay. That was easy. Sort of. The client is asking for the timing belt to be changed along with the water pump. Yep, that's definitely not in very good shape, and that's either. That either, okay. Start pulling some stuff off. And we can repair that, and we do need, that was what, a timing belt? Yes, a timing belt. Right. Check the used here. There probably isn't one. It seems like every time I look in here, there's never a part I actually need.
probably actually under inch, and that would help if I sort that. Yep, I don't see any belts. Okay, I repaired and another one out the door. I think we got time for maybe one or two more jobs here, depending on what we have. Client is complaining the tractor won't start to help him solve the problem. Starter, battery. Well, I guess there could be more problems too, but those seem like the obvious ones. Okay, fuel related then, maybe? Yeah, okay, those are bad, that's interesting. Now, can you repair those? No, you cannot. Those were what? Ignition cables. Oh, nothing there in the used, so back to the new, I guess. Ignition cables. Ooh, 180 bucks. Yeah. We'll make nothing on the job. Oh, nice. Those seem like expensive ignition cables, too. I'd just like to point that out. Uh, a client is reporting about knocks, <laughs> knocks in the combine's wheels. Yay. Yeah. Great. Got knocks. Be nice if they'd uh, note front or rear. Okay. The wheels, I assume it means, you know, wheels. Well, it could possibly actually be the pulleys and stuff, maybe. That's possible, I guess. Let's just uh, double check everything here for the fun of it. Make sure. Oh, that is. Oh, yeah, that is bad. Okay. Oh, so is that. Uh, so why would that cause knocking, Okay, repair that, and that. I 
I shall. Is that? Ah, uh, that is good. Okay. And I guess you actually don't have to take the tire off to do this. And another job repaired. And with that, folks, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. So, yeah, if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.